welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Heather. I'm a queer author of dark fantasy and supernatural horror. Uh, today I just wanted to give my gratitude to all the wonderful people in my life that support my writing uh, journey and my book loving behaviours uh, and show you a bit of what I was given uh, over the festive season from all my loving friends and family uh, just so that you guys can get some ideas and I'd also love to hear down in the comments what you received for Christmas or whatever festive season you participate in. I was lucky enough uh, to receive four books to read. So the first two I have is James Mon uh, yeah, Jane Munker's uh, series. So book three and book four. Uh, these are by a wonderful uh, Tasmanian self-published author called Lindsay Little. Uh, so I now have the complete quartet, so I'll be looking at reading them in the new year. So we've got uh, Time Freak and Freak Out uh, to complete the series. And then I got a book I've been eyeing up and it was part of the Goodreads Choice Awards and that is Iron Widow by Zeren Z J Zhao. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, it is a old, like a new adult sci-fi, and I know this has a sort of polyamorous love triangle, or as the author has also described it, a love triangle that isn't really a love corner, because the way they described uh, a love triangle is that each point on the triangle needs to love both people equally otherwise it turns into a love corner so looking forward to that and then I have a gothic sort of young adult horror fantasy-esque story and that's Lake's Edge by Lin Lindell Clips Stone uh, it's about uh, Violetta Graceling who arrives in a haunted estate uh, as she escapes from monsters, she knows the terrifying rumours of someone who drowned his entire family uh, when they were a child. So I'm looking forward to getting into both of those. Uh, so that feeds my reading collector's um, sort of fandom stuff. And I got given two Harley Quinn pop vinyls. So I have the Day of the Dead sort of Harley Quinn. And then I also have... Uh, the DC Bombshells um, Pops with a Purpose, so this is the Bombshell Harley Quinn and it's raising funds for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So they, so it's good that I like that. And then we move on to uh, the writing sort of gifts that I was given. So as much as all writers need, <clears throat> sorry, all writers need to sort of nourish and hydrate themselves with uh, while they're writing so I was lucky enough to be given these beautiful I got a pair of these beautiful holly Christmas mugs uh, to go with some cookies while I'm editing and revising and writing and some hot chocolates so they're going to keep me sustained while I write and then I also was given this beautiful Ryan and Co candle makers candle uh, which is an Australian um, West Australian uh, candle company that's handcrafted in the southwest of my state and it's called Evenings in Margaret River which is a sort of foresty vineyard um, area down, in, down south so it's just a really nice soothing scent so I can sort of build the atmosphere while I'm reading and writing. Always a good thing is I was given uh, some of uh, restocked some of my favorite pens from a typo and these are the smooth operator uh, gels from typo so I have three of those and some highlighters so that I can while I'm editing book one in the twisted garden saga I can get into that and then I've been eyeing this up for a while and it's been on my wish list so I finally was given it and it's the Severed Moon a year long of Journal of Magic. It was put together by Lee Bardugo and it's just got a range of like prompts you write in the book. Some of them are just really quick questions and some of them are a bit more of a pondering one so we've got write a story about creating a new great magic. Things like write an autumn song. If you were to choose a token that represents you 
what would it be and why. So it's just uh, to take a moment and reflect but also use them to sort of dive off and think of more. So these are some of the amazing generosity that I would receive from loved ones uh, over the Christmas period that shows their support for me in my writing journey. I'd love to know if you received anything that supports you in your hobbies um, and if you've gone this far and you're not feeling overly chatty uh, why not leave me a candle emoji or a cookie emoji down below while you're down there why not consider liking and subscribing because I put up new videos once a week on my reading and writing journey and in 2022 I'll be diving into heavy rewrites and possibly starting my journey and trying to get a book traditionally published so I'd love to have you on my journey but until then let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world thank you and goodbye